Voice my GPS. Yeah, right there. An accident at Antelope, which looks like they're getting cleaned. Still slow back 65, though, at this time. You're coming in through Davis. Yeah, you got a little time to spend. Uh, it's going to be sluggish starting just past 113 until you get across the causeway. And let's see, eastbound Cap City, westbound Cap City, heavy in midtown, eastbound, and westbound 50, slow in the downtown area. Look out, our money has been attacked from every angle. Inflation, rate hikes, banks failing. That's why thousands of Americans have decided to protect it with gold and silver. Gold Co. can help you diversify your money, and you can get up to $10,000 in free silver. Call 855-707-GOLD. Uh, Traffic on the 10s oh, every 10 minutes, morning to afternoon. Day and a half, KFBK News Radio, 93.1730. Warm this weekend, now tonight we'll get down to around this. 60. I tomorrow really high, freaking hate uh, this. 96 degrees, 97 on Sunday, 98 on Sunday and Tuesday. Right now, it's 90 degrees in Sacramento. John Bernanke, KFBK News Radio. It's like cars over here are blocking me, so I can get out. On KFBK News Radio, Sacramento. I hate this. I really hate this. Is your this HVAC so system much. tired and worn out? Just like a car, it needs regular tune-ups and maintenance to run smoothly, especially in hot temperatures. Hi, friends. Sam Shane here. And Christina Mendonca here for our trusted partners, the Laura Heating and Cooling. They are offering an incredible deal. They're twenty-one point two dollars special for just $89. They'll inspect, clean, and optimize your system. Don't wait until your AC breaks down in the scorching heat. Reach out to Valara Heating and Cooling at Valara.com. I hate this. I hate when they Hi, park this like that. Yeah, Sometimes life can feel uncertain, but one thing you can be sure of is a stress-free car buying experience at Shingle Springs Subaru. Family owned and operated for over 33 years. Big city selection with zero hassle or pressure to buy. Right now at Shingle Springs Subaru. Get 3.9% financing on 2023 models of Forrester through Ascend and WRX for up to 48 months. That's 3.9% financing. Financing through Forrester Subaru. Financing through 3.9% financing. 3.9% 48 months. Equals 2015 for 1,000 miles. Operates on the 30 degree. Located just 10 minutes from Folsom at Highway 50. Shingle Springs Subaru. We're a great deal and great customer service is closer than you think. At All Worth, we believe financial guidance should come from advisors who are fully focused on you, not 40 other things. We call it uncompromised wealth management. For you, it means dedicated full-time advisors who always deliver the best of their time, energy, and focus without limitations or distractions. Discover how uncompromised wealth management pays more attention to you by calling 833-GO-ALLWORTH or visit allworthfinancial.com today. This report is sponsored by Caltrans. A reminder to be work zone alert. Attention California drivers. The kids of Caltrans workers count on you to keep their loved ones safe. So when you see a highway work zone, please slow down and pay attention. Remember, that's someone's loved one out there. Uh, uh, uh. Work zone alert. Only iHeartRadio gives you access to all your favorite radio stations. See on a breakfast, Carter City Water, all of the once in a lifetime events. iHeartRadio Music Festival, all the best free charity playlists. Happy birthday, hip hop. All the great podcasts for every interest. Our podcast, he said, a jazzy for all of the mind blowing content. $20,000. Superstar, it's a lot of. This is Drake, selfish boy, Lindert. Download the iHeartRadio app today. Free has never sounded so good. Updated news that matters to you at the top and bottom of every hour on KFBK, Sacramento's News Radio. <laughs> KPK News Radio live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app and your smart speaker. Talking about uh, the latest uh, in terms of the target of the uh, the Federal Energy Commission or Department of Energy, uh, and that is your ceiling fan in your home. And uh, the, the explanation <coughs> is that uh, there's uh, inefficiency in the manner in which energy, uh, ceiling fans are used, and that it's causing unreasonable uh, pollution. I, I have tremendous questions about that. I just I, I'm very 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 doubtful of that. Get your thoughts. 800 1530 uh, John is patiently waiting in Stockton. John, good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the conversation. Thank you for holding on. Good afternoon, John. Listen to you quite often. Thank you, sir. Joe, wish it was longer. Well, thank but you. But unfortunately, these 
Most people in these cities in, they must have went to Stanford. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm at a loss. I think <clears throat> it looks to me like a very um, efficient way to address, to, to improve the environmental climate in a person's home. And, uh, and what's the, I mean, I, I can't imagine the, uh, that be representing a significant uh, consumption of energy. Because as I said earlier, if a fan is, is balanced and functioning properly, uh, a good test of it, in my estimation, and I don't have any expertise in this regard at all. I want to make that clear. But you turn that fan off, you flip the switch, and uh, if, it's, if it's properly maintained and balanced, it will run for a long, 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 long time, uh, just based on the inertia after the switch goes off. So yeah, I, I think there's, there's something else uh, at play here, and why in the world do we want to get into people's homes and start? Uh, manipulating how they choose to keep themselves comfortable. It's, it's, uh, I think it's in the same vein as the, uh, the gas stoves, but I think it takes on even greater uh, levels of, of absurdity. It just does not begin to make sense to me. And uh, of all things, I think it, it, it tends to be much more efficient than other uh, options that people could use. I agree with you. It, it, it falls under that same realm of the electric car. You know, we beat that up until it's yeah. new now, but basically, this environmental stuff, we're listening to it too much of it. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely agree. At least in the case of like the electric sad. car, it's you can make nice. an argument that they're not, it, it, there's an illustration, I guess, of the fact that they're not stopping and pumping gas. They're not buying that fossil fuel and putting it in the car. Now, there's fossil fuel burned to manufacture the car. There's fossil fuel definitely burned to create the energy to charge it. Uh, but you can see how that's a little bit more subtle. But in the case of uh, making your home, uh, I, I guess, more comfortable on hot and cold days, respectively, obviously, in, in large part, uh, in conjunction with some other uh, alternatives, I, I can't think of a better, more efficient way to do that from my very, very limited knowledge of such matters. But I appreciate the call, John, very much. Uh, let's check in with uh, Pamela, who's patiently waiting in Sacramento. Pamela, good afternoon. Welcome to the conversation. Great to hear from you. Good afternoon, Sheriff. So, as soon as you said Energy Secretary, mm -hmm. I, said. I said her name aloud. I, yeah. just, I knew immediately yeah. the, the the low level C minus student that you yeah. were referring to. The, the one that went into fits of cackling when she was asked a very legitimate question about alternatives to uh, to uh, fossil fuel when she was talking about giving fossil fuels up. She had no idea, no concept, no thought. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. you know, she doesn't know her fanny from a ceiling fan, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so, she, um, not bad, just off the top of no, my head. I'll give, you, um, I'll give you some points for that one, Pam. Well, that was good. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, so, I'm curious, and because I'm always trying to figure out the, the path of the money. So, what do you think? How much of, of these decisions, not only from the ESG and all of that path, but how much of this tail that wags the dog is from the <coughs> lobbying firms. How many of the lobbying firms say, hey, if we can create this challenge, yeah, I, I, we can charge the groups to pay us to lobby? Uh, you know what uh, I mean? I, that I think, I think that's, yeah, I think that's, uh, that theory is alive and well. Yeah. I, I do believe that. <coughs> but if it was uh, as simple as somebody just getting rich off of it, it would still be offensive and inappropriate. But it oh, might sure. make a little bit more sense. I think, especially in her <coughs> case, and I hate to pick on the woman, she's not here to defend herself, but she seems to be completely and totally um, incompetent. She has no clue about what she speaks. And, and again, I will readily acknowledge the fact that I am by no means an energy expert. But just logic and common sense suggests to me that this is not a good way to do business. In fact, I have to believe that there are people who are making their homes more comfortable, more livable, if you will, with the use of a very, very efficient ceiling fan throughout the course of the summer, and then perhaps in conjunction with a little bit of furnace use, maybe a, maybe a, a wood burning <coughs> stove or color stove with a, a well placed uh, ceiling fan can spread that the, uh, the product of that warmth uh, throughout the house in the wintertime. That just seems to me like common sense would dictate that's extraordinarily uh, efficient uh, to turn that system upside down uh, and create a problem for people who do this for a living without ever consulting with people in the business, which is another, seems like a, a gigantic blind spot, right? Uh, that's not allowed. We yeah. can't do that. that yeah. That's input, yeah. uh, Sheriff. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah, I'm afraid you're right. We so discourage that. Yeah. 
Um, my dad, who was born, and he's, he's gone now, but he was born in 1924, and I was raised with um, him referring to people okay. such as Ms. Granholm as uh, the do-gooders. The do-gooders. They're going yeah. to make things better. With zero knowledge, zero practicality, zero common sense, yeah. they're going to swoop in and they're going to do some good. The only risk with uh, with that moniker is that it suggests they might actually at some point do some good, and I don't see any evidence of that happening. But I guess it was sarcastic. Right, that. right, right. Not unlike uh, the concept of a uh, somebody who really truly knows nothing. Very, very valid observations, and again, you get points for the uh, the man and fan. Yeah, that's a good one. I appreciate the call very, very much. Uh, let's check in with uh, Bernice in beautiful Palooza. Bernice, good afternoon. Welcome to the conversation. Thanks for holding on. Well, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to say, as I told your uh, person that uh, first uh, talked to me, I have not turned my air conditioner on yet this year. Really? Yes, and we had some pretty hot temperatures. Yeah, you, you get uh, you get triple digit temperatures pretty regularly, right? I have. <laughs> Yes, very, very much. And I live in a two-story condominium. Yeah. I have used my ceiling fans in my bedroom upstairs and in my uh, uh, living area. Uh, I use my floor fans. It really helps to keep mosquitoes off you, too. Huh. And the hottest my house has gotten is 85. Now, people go to the beach. They go out in the sun to get yeah. cancer. So they can have oh that gosh. nice warm temperature, but they can't stand it in their house. <clears throat> I think I agree with much of what your pre uh, previous caller had to say. <clears throat> yeah. I think these people need to get out <clears throat> and get their fannies in the sun and find out what's really going on. You cannot work out, as one of the infinity people told me, you can't work outside all day and then come home to an air conditioner. <clears throat> And they should shut down Air Force One. We're on an energy saving kick. Observations, and I I agree with you. I, I tend to like it on the uh, the warmer side anyway, so I don't need to have a freezing cold house. But the effects and the benefits from the uh, the ceiling fans, I think uh, most of us have had that experience and can relate to it. And they're a tremendous asset in uh, in controlling the climate temperature wise in your home. And I, I can't imagine somebody really truly in good faith legitimately trying to upend that whole concept. So. I appreciate the call from beautiful uh, Calusa, Bernice. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. You betcha. Uh, let's check in with uh, Alan, patiently waiting in Stockton. Alan, good afternoon. Welcome to the conversation. Thanks for holding on. How are you doing, John? Very well. Thanks. How are uh, you? First, first time caller. First, Welcome. I'd like to say I, I appreciate your eloquent uh, speaking. Uh, well, thank you, sir. You're very kind. Uh, um, next, I'd like to say I can't wait to vote this complete administration out as fast as we can. Yeah. These guys, you know, they, they, they're constantly in our backyard, bickering at us, and they won't look in their own backyard. Well, here's a novel. Let me throw this at you. Do you think there is really, truly a need for a, a Secretary of Energy in the country? I, 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 may, I Maybe I haven't looked at it closely enough. Maybe there's some benefit that comes from that department, but, but I'm skeptical, to say the least. Uh, it's, I also read an article this morning about the... Uh, there's a, a position, it's not the czar of alcohol, but there's, there's actually a paid doctor in the administration that makes recommendations as it relates to alcohol consumption. They're making some broad changes in terms of, of what recommendation may be on the horizon. I think let, let the, 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 it seems like the free market can resolve a lot of the, uh, the energy questions. And common sense and recognition of people's behavior and consequences of uh, bad behavior as it relates to alcohol can be a very, very
want to see change uh, sooner than later, and I appreciate the call very much, Alan. More conversation coming up right after this. Don't go away. You can hear Johnny Dennis on your car radio, also at work and at home on our free iHeartRadio app every afternoon, 3 to 4 on KFPK. From the Dome to Faro, these days more than ever, bringing you the local information that matters to you. For the Hi, Christina here from my friends at Matthews. Now until September 11th, Matthews Mattress is putting Beauty Rest on sale. Save up to $900 on Beauty Rest Black and Adjustable Bases, or get a Beauty Rest Harmony Lux Extra Firm with Queen starting at just $12.99, and the Black LX Class Medium for just $26.99. With any Beauty Rest King or Queen mattress, get a free adjustable base. On any mattress purchase over $8.99, you get two free bamboo pillows and a quality mattress protector. The rest of their inventory is on sale with Labor Day savings. Get 16 months special financing on approved credit. Right. Bye by five, you'll be sleeping by nine. Free day delivery, free removal of your old set, and Matthew's mattress unbeatable 10% price guarantee. 11 locations to serve you for one year and two. Go to Matthew'sMattress.com. Traffic Center is 350 a day to head for Smud. And uh, as usual, heavy traffic coming this way on a Friday afternoon through Davis. And it starts at 113. And it's going to take you all the way past the uh, causeway there for a clear side. And coming out of the Woodland area, all down there begins a mile or two after 102 and goes to the split. Eastbound Cap City running very heavy in Midtown and westbound slow starting back at El Camino. Westbound 50 also, the brake lights kind of start popping up around Watt Avenue and takes you all the way through the construction to about 16th Street. Eastbound is heavy through the Midtown and well, downtown Midtown area at this time. Going all electric is better for your business, your safety, and our environment. We are helping businesses make the switch with a set into an energy solution that drives savings to your bottom line and promote electrification. Or at smug.org slash go electric biz. Traffic on 10, 30, 10 minutes. Traffic on 10 minutes today to have the KCK News Radio, 93.1 FM, 1530 AM. Every 10 
on board. John McGinnis with you, KFK News Radio Live, everyone. Yeah, I heard Radio F and your smart speaker. Talking about uh, taking your ceiling fan away from you. Not exactly, not depriving you of the ceiling fan, but changing the ceiling fans, making them more efficient. Looks as though one formula I worked on here looks like it could possibly, ideally, uh, changes in this uh, concept would perhaps save the average household four bucks a year. Uh, and that causes, uh, that ups end so much in order to get there. It just seems absurd to me. And I have very, very, very serious questions about the legitimacy of this concept. But we may be stuck with it. Your thoughts? What do you think about all this? 800-834-1530. John is patiently waiting in El Dorado Hills. John, good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the conversation. Thanks for holding on, sir. Hey, Sheriff. How are you? Very well, thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thanks. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, this is just another one of these things that uh, we find out about after the fact. I'm in an industry that has been heavily affected by this over the last few years. I'm in the HVAC, oh, yeah. residential and commercial distribution. And... Um, they have uh, complete disregard for what it really <clears throat> the effect it has on the manufacturers by coming up with efficiency standards that have been determined by people that really are outside of the industry. They yeah. have a, a dramatic effect on uh, of product. Um, cost of product is something that is, uh, is, is just out of this world right now. Yeah. And it's something that, oh, yeah. um, that adds to the problem we have with inflation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It adds to, uh, in just so many ways, it's just ridiculous. I don't know if it manifests itself uh, in your industry specifically, but I understand, uh, for example, uh, dishwashers and, and uh, washing machines that are, and even toilets, where, where there's a, 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 there's, uh, a compulsory uh, a directive to change these things, make them parenthetically more uh, or, uh, more energy efficient or water efficient, they wind up using much more water because they have to be cycled through so many more times. I don't know if you see that in your industry or not. Exactly. Uh, more energy to decide to, to uh, realize the same ultimate benefit? It, it, it doesn't. But what it ends up doing is, 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 is you know, in a lot of cases, for instance, on uh, commercial equipment, it creates a, a, a much larger footprint. It creates a uh, a larger unit, it takes more resource to make that unit. Um, and in my mind, we see is they'll say, okay, it's a new unit, it's more efficient, this is the cost, but it might have to be 40% more than what a similar unit cost just two or three years ago yeah. for, a single, for a single unit. And it's um, it, it, that effect is it's, it's still some that um, the amount of projects that are over budget and that are out of reach with costs and why everything seems to be getting so expensive because you have to retain that uh, investment from somewhere so you can't uh, you can recreate a factory line to assemble something that is by the new standard and not pay for it. So you have to increase the cost immediately and, and we're seeing that in this industry by such exorbitant cost for things. Just a few years ago you, you look back and oh gosh, the right price, yeah, that's the right price. People in your industry yeah, could make good recommendations. Uh, and so, yeah. Hey, I appreciate the call very much. You're going to be it for the week. Uh, that's it for me, as you can tell by the sound of the music. To stick around because you have a lovely and talented Kitty O'Neill coming up next with the afternoon news. I will see you back here on Monday. Have a blessed weekend.
for any new client that hires talent to actively manage their portfolio. If you're not satisfied after one year, 